A bail hearing for the man charged in the Brampton crash that killed a mother and her three young daughters began today via teleconference. 20-year-old Brady Robertson is charged with four counts of dangerous operation of a vehicle causing death. Now the Crown and Robertson's defense must argue about what his fate will be as he awaits trial. The charges come as a result of the horrific crash that killed 37-year-old elementary school teacher Carolina Chisulo and her three daughters, 6-year-old Clara, 4-year-old Liliana, and 1-year-old Mila. According to the preliminary findings from the province's police watchdog, on June 18th, the Peel Regional Police Officer observed Robertson's blue Infinity. A short time later, the Infinity became involved in a collision with Chisulo's van at the intersection of Torbrum Road and Countryside Drive. The Special Investigations Unit invoked its mandate because a Peel police officer was involved, but a spokesperson for the SIU would not confirm whether that officer was in pursuit of Robertson's vehicle. Two other vehicles were also damaged in the collision. Robertson's hearing began this morning and took place over the course of the day, all via teleconference because of COVID-19 restrictions. Few details about the proceedings can be revealed due to a publication ban, which is common for bail hearings. But even though it was not held in a physical courtroom, outside of the Brampton Courthouse, dozens gathered this morning to make their voices heard, urging the courts to deny Robertson bail. Very tragic to have these girls lose their lives at such a young age and their mother, just a whole family, wiped out in a second. Donning masks and carrying signs are friends of the victims and family members, including Carolina's older sister, who also brought her own young children. She was just everything. She was a part of me and then now I just feel like a part of me is gone and I, I don't know. My nieces are Clara who's six. We just celebrated her birthday in May before the accident and she was so happy. We drove by and we did the whole drive by because of COVID and she was so happy. And then Lily who's three, who was three was so excited and she said, Mommy, I want the same birthday as Clara. I want the same birthday as Clara, but she didn't live for her birthday because her birthday was a couple weeks after she died. And, and then I, that's all I kept thinking about is we couldn't give her the drive-by birthday that she always wanted. So instead we had to bring balloons to the cemetery. The demonstration was organized by Jillian McLeod, an outspoken advocate for stricter laws around reckless driving. Technically, the maximum sentence is life. However, that sentence is never given. It's more common that they get a nine or ten year sentence and then they only have to serve one third of that before they're eligible for parole. So that's why we feel it's important that the sentences be maximum and mandatory. What we're hoping in this case is to change it to a 20 year mandatory sentence and for all future charges involving these uh, cases. McLeod has started an online petition which has garnered more than 85,000 signatures. Brady Robertson has also been charged with dangerous operation of a motor vehicle for an incident that was caught on tape two days before the crash. The bail hearing continues tomorrow. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.